This video is sponsored by Raycon. More about them at the end of the sketch. All right, fellas, we gotta come up with some Christmas songs. Stat. I was thinking maybe something about a reindeer. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good launching point. I mean, what we could do is- I was thinking we could make a song about a snowman. I yeah, that could work. That's Christmassy, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think we should make it clear he's a smoker right off the bat. What? Right at the beginning of the song, we let people know the shape of his nose, obviously, and then we let people know that he likes smoking tobacco products through a corncob pipe. I don't really know if we need to be mentioning that. This guy smokes, and he's got jet black eyes. What? Made of coal. Coal. Yeah, his eyes are made of black, combustible, sedimentary rock. Put that right at the beginning of the song, maybe like the fourth line. That's horrifying. So how much does this dark-eyed, inanimate snowman smoke? Inanimate? No, no, no. No. It's not- it's animate? This thing's gonna dance around with the children and play. How is- what? Well, the children suspect there might have been some magic in this old top hat they found and put atop the snowman. So just how cursed is this hat? This is a haunting song so far. And as soon as they laid it upon his head, he began to dance. With what limbs? Those poor children must be terrified. I don't know if they're terrified or not, but they will play with him. Is he forcing them to? My god! <laughs> Doesn't feel Christmassy at all. But here's the thing about this snowman, gentlemen. He's gonna reveal he knew the sun was hot that day. Okay. And what does that mean for a man made of ice, you might ask? His death is imminent and he knows it. Oh my god. He's fully aware of his impending doom. He knows his time on this mortal plane will be over imminently. The heat from the sun will melt his very flesh away. Maybe we could just make a song about hot chocolate or something. What about that? No. And then he tells the children they need to hurry up and play now before he perishes. He tells the children he's dying? He does. Those poor kids are gonna need so much therapy. So then what does he do? He runs down into the town square, holding a broomstick in his hand. Like a witch? Lot of dark magic in this song. And he runs around yelling, catch me if you can! This draws the attention of a local police officer. A traffic cop, actually. I bet. And the officer yells, stop, and so the snowman has to hurry on his way. So he's a fugitive now. Oh, what are we doing here? But before he leaves, off to his imminent death, mind you, the heat still beating down upon him. He tells the children not to cry. I mean, how could they not? I mean, to be honest, this sounds like a demonic possession. He tells them that he'll be back again someday. Oh my god, that's so ominous. Extremely threatening for sure. I mean, what, this thing can reincarnate? Yes, he can. He'll be back in a new form. Probably a snowman again. This is truly one of the most horrifying things I've ever heard. Yeah, I gotta be honest. I don't know if this is gonna catch on as a Christmas song. Did I mention his name is Frosty? Oh, that's actually really cute. Okay, this could work. Oh, fantastic. Glad you like it. All right, anyone else have some ideas? I had an idea for a song where somebody's mother makes out with Santa Claus. Oh god, oh no, that's definitely not gonna be a popular Christmas song. Hi there, hello, it's me, I'm the Adstronaut. I'm out here in ad space to talk to you about Raycon. So hey, good news and bad news, my weird uncle Edgar's visiting me for the holidays. Hello. The bad news is that he's dumb and I hate him and I don't like listening to him. But thankfully I have my new Raycon headphones to drown out all the weird stuff he says. The doctor said my toes wouldn't grow back, but that's not gonna stop me from trying. Raycon's wireless earbuds and headphones and speakers have premium sound, awesome features, and a comfortable fit. And up to 54 hours of battery life. That's enough time to cover a whole whole bunch of weird Uncle Edgar talk. So I says to the bus driver, no, you stop the bus and then I'll put my pants back on. Another great thing about Raycons is they make fantastic gifts. Plus it doesn't hurt that they go for about half the price of other premium audio brands. That's good for your budget. I got some for my weird Uncle Edgar thinking that would make him shut up for a second, but now he just sings along to whatever he's listening to. Things have not improved at all. And hey, you can click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash Ryan George to get 15% off site wide with code HOLIDAY. There's also gonna be a new pop-up deal every day during Raycon's countdown to Christmas. I'll try to keep the description box updated with the latest offers, but just so you know, you can always go to buyraycon.com slash Ryan George to get the best deals available on Raycon. Merry Christmas, Weird Uncle Edgar. Baby shark da 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 Okay. <laughs>